Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth, looking at a beautiful day, 60, a little cool, a little breeze, but I'll tell you what, it's going to be sunny, fall-like, and as the week goes on towards Saturday and Sunday, we're going to get back up into the 70s. Nice, nice, so I, I really look forward to that, and the weather's been gorgeous, really, can't complain, it's the middle of October. It has been this way since the beginning of September. It's crazy. It is. We're very fortunate. We've had great weather. Yeah. I mean, once the temperature's cooled, like that first, second week of September, I mean, there's been, what, one day of rain? It's nuts. It, yep. Maybe two? I don't know. I it's don't wild. No, if that. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been really great. Um, we have lots to do, but of course, we are in the presence of greatness again oh, today. Oh, yeah. Ready for uh, Bellevue. You took a couple days off. What's happening? I, uh, I've been under the weather. I had like a head cold. I medicated myself this morning so I wouldn't be a drippy mess. Uh huh. Um, haven't been feeling well. Got a lot going on, and here I am. I'm back. You did. You uh, must be out of your mind to be back here this morning. The way you make it sound, you not doing good the last couple days. You know. No, I've been uh, under the weather. I told All you. Right. I, well, I know. I'm just. I'm started uh, with a sore throat, and uh, which I still sort of have. Actually, uh -huh. it happened once on Sunday. I'm proud of you for uh, making it back today, Candy. Thank you. I I couldn't leave you any longer. Two days at the most is about all I can handle. I, I understand. Mean, do you know how boring of a show it is when I have to talk tennis to myself? <laughs> I'm telling you. I didn't you. even think of that. So I mean, it's not like I can stop talking about tennis, and now... Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm literally having a conversation well, about tennis. I want tennis. to apologize to the audience, because mm -hmm. that must have been about as boring as it gets. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, is, is Brian taking care of you? What's the deal there? Yes, everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Everything's all right. fine. I, it, all you right. know, life like it, life gets tough sometimes. So, what do you want me to say? It's nothing to do with me or him. Um, yeah, we're okay. We're good. The, solid. Good. Th there's you? uh, then there there's uh, sickness going around my house as well. I got Abigail oh. had a little sore throat, and Elijah didn't feel great yesterday, and yeah, yeah there's a whole I bunch of stuff. I want to say the change of season cold because it kind of feels that way. People, yeah. Are, not feeling well, and now I'm among them. Yes, you are among us with uh, feeling not fantastic. But we welcome you back. Thank you for for being You're here welcome. this morning. Yeah, now um, catch me up on what's going on in your world. Oh Should my! Should we start with dinner last night? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I didn't really have it. dinner. Was just picking at things last night. Uh, I was running around yesterday. You don't want to know why, Candy, because it's your least favorite topic. So You were running around from tennis match to tennis match. You were watching other teams and how they play. What were you doing? We did go to see a championship match in our division uh, to watch two of the superstars out in Leah's region uh, battle it out for the title yesterday. So that was fun. And then afterwards, we uh, had to come back and get her ready for her a uh, tennis session at her, you know, where she practices, where she trains for the winter. Um, gotcha. And she had two hours of that yesterday. Now, is tennis officially over? Did I miss it this week? So for Leah, it's over. But in Suffolk County and Nassau for that matter, but I really only focus on Suffolk, you have, you still have the county championships, which are taking place. And next week, the team tournaments which leah's team didn't get in they happen next week tennis really doesn't end till the end of october so well, that's only two weeks away yeah uh and then we have the dinner you know this big end of season dinner always loved the end of season dinners yeah uh so we got that but the grind has begun let me tell you about the grind oh Andy. dear 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 uh 10 months leading into next season and it began uh, a couple of days ago, and it continued yesterday. 
Uh, and and Leah had, you know, one of her first major sessions for the quote unquote fall winter season last night. But here's what the grind is. There was a girl there. All right. Yes. She. All right. Remember when a couple of the tennis girls and oh, tennis I'm Nick. Sorry I asked this hold on. Yes. No, this is I'm telling you about the grind. All right. All right. OK. I'm telling you what hard work is. So. Remember when Tennis Nick brought his daughter and his daughter's friend to one of the concerts we put on? Yes, I do okay. remember that. All right. So not his daughter, the other girl. She is not in Leah's division. She's in another division. She went out and won her championship yesterday evening. The match was like between 3 and 5 o'clock, okay? She goes out. She's the one seed. She wins, whatever. Great. Championship. About 20 minutes later, she shows up at the facility for the two-hour practice session that oh Leah was at. Possessed. That is what the grind is all about. I yeah. understand. That's the grind. Anyway, gotcha. we can be done with tennis for today. Okay? Oh, I was hoping for the year, but oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, to answer your initial question... I just picked at different things in the refrigerator for dinner. That was okay. my dinner. And the rest of your family? They picked at things as well. Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's what took place yesterday. Um, I do have another topic for you. Shall, you, shall we move on to something completely different? Please. <laughs> well, you must really want me to. Your voice cracked. That was crazy. All right. Lifetime has released their holiday lineup. Their movies, their holiday movies, all that, you know, they're telling us what they're going to do. The Lifetime, not Hallmark, because right. they have their own. Gotcha. This, this is Lifetime. They have a bunch of new movies coming out. Among the 12 new movies, tell me if this one sounds familiar. This is the description of the movie. A pop star who hasn't found Mr. Right yet meets a professional football player backstage at one of her shows. Oh, boy. The football player tells the pop star about his crush on her, and they begin dating. With each passing day they spend together, their feelings grow stronger, but can it last in the limelight, especially with their hectic schedules? Can it? Now, can it last? With people questioning if their feelings for each other are real or just for show. Do they get the paid <laughs> for such things since they stole their love story? Do they pay them? <laughs> I got one line left. The pressure mounts from the press, paparazzi, and the fans, and even their family. Wow. All right. Well, listen, you don't even yeah. need writers anymore. You just uh, imitate life, right? Take it right out of real life. That's right. Um, the name of the movie is Christmas in the Spotlight, and it premieres November 23rd, and it is one of the uh, 12 new movies. That Lifetime will be showing. Wow. Really working yeah. hard over there at Lifetime, aren't you? Oh, yeah. They really got their writers working I overtime. I say, though, Travis Kelsey has never looked better. He, he's doing fantastic. His, his looks are peaking. His looks are peaking. Soon I'll hit the wall, but his looks are peaking right now. <laughs> it's all good right now. That's great. Uh, we got plenty more to do. Going to tell you about an interesting way a woman quit her job, or actually what she did after she quit. We'll see if uh, this sits okay with you. Um, new fashion trend in the pants world for women. Oh. Yep. We will get to that. Uh, what if a robot hand was invented for different exams? We'll tell you which exams we're talking about. Hmm. Uh, your next Bald and the Beautiful at about 8.12. National Day's Good News Stories, late 8 o'clock hour. We have a beautiful fall day, about 60, sunny. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.